On Fridays, we sometimes like to show you what top business execs do on their own time. Tonight, Thomas Farrell, CEO of the Fortune 500 utility, Dominion Resources, and by the way, a classmate of mine at the University of Virginia. By day, Farrell runs a company with 15,000 employees, operations in more than a dozen states, and more than 13 billion in annual sales. But on nights and weekends over the past few years, he's been pouring his soul and a hunk of his own cash into this field of lost shoes. It's not a documentary. It's not a set piece. Field of Lost Shoes is a historically accurate major motion picture out this week. It tells the story of 250 cadets from Virginia Military Institute in Lexington. In May of 1864, with the Union pressing down the Shenandoah Valley, they marched 90 miles north over four and a half days through torrential rain to reinforce a fraying Confederate line. They ended up here in this field, Bushong's Farm, near Newmarket, Virginia. Here on May 15th, 150 years ago, the schoolboys, average age 17, fought, 10 of them died, for their state and the Confederate cause. They were good at parade, uh, but these were not hardened veterans. And Farrell was not a movie producer or a screenwriter. Now, he's both. My great-grandfather, my grandfather, my father, uncles were all career Army officers. About 30 years ago, I went on sort of a Civil War binge, and I came across this story of these new market cadets. Farrell started toying with making a movie about them roughly 10 years ago. You know how to build pipelines, you know how to run nuclear plants, you know how to do a lot of stuff, but you don't know how to make a movie. No, I don't actually know how to run a nuclear plant, Yeah. but my job is to collect, get the people together who do know how to run a nuclear plant yeah. and how to build and make a sure they're doing it right. And yeah. make sure they're doing it right. And uh, that's what a producer's job. How did you fit this in? Uh, well, that's what nights and weekends are for. <laughs> <laughs> You'd never written a screenplay before? No. Never written anything like it? No. How hard was it? It was hard. If you don't believe in what you're fighting for, you won't make it out of this valley. The movie's about the boys. It's about seven boys, uh, six of whom were real cadets. Mm -hmm. The seventh one we made up as a composite. We call him the rat mm -hmm. in the movie. The youngest. The youngest. I will fight Grant's bully, sir. But all the, all the rest of the characters, all the adult characters, are all real people. John C. Breckenridge. John Wise, sir. Like General John C. Breckinridge, the Confederate commander and one-time U.S. Vice President, played by Jason Isaacs of Harry Potter fame. Despite his grave reservations, you must put in the cadets. He orders the cadets into battle. That's all he had left. That's all he had left. Fifteen-year-old boys. Send the boys in. May God forgive me. They paused here at this fence line. hardened Pennsylvania veterans firing at them down here. These young boys led the charge uh, up this hill and ran through a sea of mud. Mud was so deep that it sucked the shoes off their feet. But then, very quickly, they got an education. And they are in hand-to-hand -hand combat. After the battle, down here in this area, there was a whole bunch of shoes, of shoes, hundreds of shoes. This area here has been called the Field of Lost Shoes for over 100 years. Breckenridge and his unlikely troops <laughs> prevailed. For the Confederates outmanned two to one, it was a remarkable victory that delayed the inevitable ultimate defeat. For the VMI cadets, a day of honor commemorated every May 15th by a new generation of VMI men and now women. Robert Jefferson, out on the field of honor, sir. Robert Dell. Down in the field voters, sir. For Dominion CEO Tom Farrell, the movie is the realization of a dream. What are you going to do now? Uh, I'm going to go back to my job. <laughs> Why did you do it? Bottom line. The bottom line, Tyler, is uh, I thought it was a story that deserved to be told. I thought these boys uh, deserved to have the story told. And we tried to tell it in a way that we think they would like. And the film opens this weekend in limited release in 20 or so. Marcus Farrell would be the first to tell you he didn't do it alone. His co-screenwriter, David Kennedy, 
was another college pal, as were some of his co-investors on the project. Interestingly, Susie, he said there were very few people at Dominion who knew about this, his secretary and, of course, his board, who he wanted to know uh, what he was doing in his spare time. It's interesting that every war has these little stories along the way that are big stories, and it's interesting that he discovered this one. What did you think of the movie? The movie was very good. My son, who is eight, absolutely loved it. I thought the performances were really? very, very nice. And uh, I have to say, this was the only time uh, that I know of in American history where schoolboys, cadets, were put into battle. 